Hi everyone, hello, hello, this is Jennifer Sinceri, and it is Fabulous Friday, it is July 28th, 2023, I'm a little bit early, go ahead and let me know that you are here, that you're hopped on, and that you can see me, that you, um, can hear me and everything's working okay let me know where you're from uh, whether you're watching on Facebook the live or the replay or you are watching the replay on YouTube go ahead and give me a shout out let me know that you're here where you're from if it's your first time or not um, tonight we are going to play again with the uh, zany zoo bundle I absolutely just love the critters in this suite on the paper. Right now, currently, the paper is in stock. The stamps are in stock. The dies are not. We are waiting for them to arrive. They are expected to arrive back in stock um, August 18th, I believe, is the date. But you can still get the stamp set and the paper. All right, so tonight we're going to be making three very simple, easy cards. Uh, let's see, I am going to be playing with the designer series paper. I have also pulled out the decorative circle punch. So I have played with that. I also have used our stylish shape dies. These are great basic to add to your collection comes with I think there's one more one more hopping around here one two three four five no I think we got them all so you get circle squares and then pendant flags there are 15 pieces to that set so this is great to add to your tools if you have a cut and emboss machine you can use any embossing folder that you have on hand. I've used that with one of the cards just to give some texture. Um, I've also used our classic matte dots. We're going to add some of those to our cards. They come in basic black, gray, ivory, and white. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me grab a little sip of my drink here. And then let's see, we are going to be using Lost Lagoon cardstock. I have become very, very fond of Lost Lagoon. It was one of our returning colors. And then we're going to play with the designer series paper. Now I have been cutting into this pack of paper. I think it's actually two packs combined. I'm just going to show you really quick uh, some of the patterns. I want you to look at all the critters on this paper. Okay. I pulled out my circle punches and I was going to cut out a multitude of these critters and just have them on hand to make quick and easy cards. This really cute raccoon, you got a koala bear, an elephant, a dog, an armadillo. I think there's four animals on this one. Okay. And then we've got these kiddos. We've got a goat, a hedgehog, a bear, a llama, and a sloth. And then we've got some dots. And then we have some dancing hippos, dancing cats cat or cheetah maybe a dancing I don't know what that is a mouse um, a deer and a sheep and then we've got some little flowers and then we have a skunk 
That looks like a mouse to me. I don't know what that other critter is. A lion, a, a pig. One, two, three. There's four. And then I don't know what this guy is right here. But what I want you to think about is taking your decorative circle or taking your basic circle punches and punching out these guys or use um, your dies to punch them out. Here's just a couple that I had left over that I end, ended up not using. You know, I cut out my my alligator, my raccoon. Um, I have a little elephant because there's going to be bits that some of them are cut off. And I'm trying to save as many as I can. There's an, a koala bear and then there's an ostrich. So I have these ready. Yeah, it might be a badger. Uh, hi, Sherry. How are you? Are you back home from your trip? So I think what I am trying to tell you is get out those punches or dies and use them and punch out all these cute critters. Because once you see what I'm going to do, you're going to be able to make very quick and easy fast cards. Okay. All right. Let's get started. I've been so tired. Um, there's just been a lot going on. My mom is home, home from the hospital. She came home Monday. Um, and she's still in a lot of pain. Um, I'm just tired. I feel like there's just a lot going on. Back to school is right around the corner. I'm trying to get myself mentally prepped for going back. <laughs> oh, goodness. And believe it or not, I think the cat is keeping me up at night. She's like laying on my head. And uh, I'm not sleeping peacefully. All right. I'm getting my bone folder here. So like I said, we are using Lost Lagoon. And I took a basic... Um, card base. Let me pull a piece of cardstock so I can show you what I did. And I must have put it all away. Let me grab another one. And here's a different color, but you'll get the idea. So I take the paper and I cut it down the center this way, and then you can get two card bases going this way. Or if you turn it this way and cut it down the center, you're gonna get two card bases that fold this way, okay? So I did it this way, and I ended up cutting off two inches on the end, all right? Okay. Now, we're going to take some basic black, and then, hi Peggy, and then we've got this page. Now, what you could do is you could color the flowers with your little Stampin' Blends if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it black and white for tonight, but that's an option. You can color the um, designer series paper if you wanted to. We're not going to. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere these. And I'm using my stamp and seal. <clears throat> Oops, wrong way. Now let me give you some dimensions for this. Hi, Lori. So my black paper is four by three and three fourths, okay? So four by three and three fourths. So then the designer series paper would be three and three fourths by three and a half, okay? Now we're gonna put that here. There's actually very little stamping on these cards. These are really easy cards. And what I'm trying to show you is that, um, yes, we fall in love with the stamps. And yes, I want you to buy stamps. But you don't always have to buy the stamps. You can buy the paper and get some really adorable cards. And that 
saves your budget. And I am all about saving our budgets. I'm just using my U pick tool. I just changed the blades, but um, I have been busy doing another card order. Remember I made baby shower invitations? Well, I just worked on some new home cards that a realtor um, ordered from me. And so I think it's time to get another cutting blade put in there. Okay, so I, what I just did was I took my the end of my U-Pick tool and I just kind of went against the edge and that helped get any of the frayed ends kind of cleaned up for me. All right, or you can use the end of an emery board to do that too. Okay, now, like I said, um, I use our stylish shape dies and so I cut out a circle in our Lost Lagoon and then I cut out another circle in basic black. Looks like my paper got bent. And then I took our decorative circle punch and I cut out this really cute fox. So I just wanted a little bit of the black peeking through. So let's put these cutie pies together. It is still in the 90s outside right now. It's 6.05 here in California. And I think it's 93 degrees outside. I think that needs to go down a little lower. Ooh, this is such good adhesive. Should probably be using liquid glue. <laughs> All right, oop, I did it, good. Um, so we just have a little bit of black peeking through, and now we're going to put that on here. We'll make sure this is centered. Sometimes this likes to move over, just centering it. And because uh, it's so hot outside, we have the AC running. But in my craft room, my stamping room, it gets super cold. <laughs> so I'm wearing a sweater because it's cold in my stamping room. Go figure. It's either hot or cold. Okay, now, he's going to go here on the end and we're going to put our sentiment here. But let's go ahead and put this in here too. So I want you to be able to see what we're doing here. So it's going to go like that. You guys see that? Just a little something different. So when I adhere this, I'm only going to put adhesive on the top half of my shape, not on the bottom half of my shape, because I don't want this side sticky, all right? We want it clean so that when we open and close our card, uh, we don't get the stickiness on the inside of our card. Now, I'm going to go like this. And I'm just going to make sure that the adhesive gets covered like that. Oh, he's kind of crooked there. Kind of felt like that was going to happen, but I wanted to make sure that our glue, looks like I put glue a little bit lower than it needed to be. I want my fox, um, standing upright. Okay, there we go. I've got a little bit showing. So let me grab, let me grab one of my little rubber eraser guys. You can buy these at the Dollar Tree and we can get this up a bit and we'll hide it behind just that little bit right there. Okay. There we go. I'm just peeling it back and getting it behind that paper right there. There we go. Perfect. Cute. 
Alrighty, now I cut a couple strips here so that we can have a sentiment. Um, and this is, let me give you the dimensions. This is, the black is three and three fourths by an inch. Okay, so three and three fourths by one inch. So then this piece would be three, sorry, yeah, three fourths of an inch by three and, and a half. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And we're going to stamp a sentiment on here and let's look at what we've got. Hmm. Now let's, this doesn't scream birthday to me. Something great to celebrate you. I think I'm going to put that on there because I want the length. And then inside, I'm just going to say you're too wonderful. I'm not going to say happy birthday on this one. We're just going to be celebrating that you're wonderful. Okay. So let's grab our um, Memento Black. Yeah, I thought the little fox was super cute too, Lori. The animals in this uh, set are adorable. I'm going to take my circle punches and just cut them all out and just have them ready to go to make cards. I got new glasses. All the better to see with. Getting, getting used to that bifocal again. You know, it's funny. You start walking out and you're like, ooh, it looks like the floor is up higher than it used to be. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot. I didn't realize it had been so long since I had gone and had my eyes checked. Oh my gosh. I was mortified. You don't even want to know. I think it was like three years. <sighs> I think I'm blaming it on COVID, losing track of time. And my sunglasses, you don't even want to know how old my sunglasses were because, you know, I don't buy new sunglasses every time I go and get my eyes checked. Um, and so I broke down and bought new sunglasses along with new eyeglasses and let's just say uh, plus my daughter needed to get reading glasses so uh let's just say uh glad my credit cards are paid off and i didn't have any debt because now i get to pay that off <laughs> oh my gosh it's all right It'll get paid off. We have uh, worked extra hard the last couple of years, you know, paying off all the credit cards so we don't have any credit card debt right now. So that is a huge, huge uh, blessing. So we will, we need to take care of our eyes so we can see. All right, now I feel like it needs a little more something, but let me do the inside and then we'll figure this out, okay? Because I feel like it needs, it's a lot of white and I feel like it does need something. We could color in the flowers, a couple flowers, maybe not all of them. I could color his scarf, um, but we'll see. We'll figure it out, all right? Now the inside, we're going to say, you're too wonderful. You can see I haven't even used that stamp yet. At first, I didn't like this set. I was like, eh, not my style. But it is so stinking cute. Like, I'm really starting to get into the whimsical stamps. Um, I love, 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 love the florals. Um, anything coastal. But lately, I've been really enjoying the whimsical stamp sets, too. Just, we need things to make us smile. There's just so much going on. And we need to make sure we, we 
I can't talk, that we are smiling and, you know, laughing, right? We want to laugh. And so these little kiddos make me laugh. My mom, um, thank you for asking, Lori. Mom is home from the hospital. She came home on Monday. And she's still in a lot of pain. She is not sitting up in a chair yet. She's been in bed. Um... I just spoke with her today on the phone, and um, she's still really sore. We were supposed to come out tomorrow to celebrate Audrey, my daughter's birthday, which was yesterday, um, but mom's just in so much pain that she's probably going to be laying flat in bed, so we, we're just going to give her some time to... Um, recuperate, you know, and rest. Okay, what I'm going to do is just put a little color on this white page. So, um, I'm going back to school pretty soon and the kids are too. But, um, we got to we got to get out there to just kind of give my dad a break problem is my mom and dad live two hours away. They're not close to us. And then my brother and his family, they've all been sick with COVID. So they weren't able to come to the hospital. So it's been kind of, it's been kind of hard, you know, I, I lay in bed and I'm thinking about all the things and I think that's part of why I'm tired. I'm not, my brain doesn't want to shut off. But she's home, so oh, I now I remember I was going to put a little strip here. Um, this was a scrap that I saved. She's home, and I know that she's happy to be sleeping in her own bed. But she's still on oxygen, just not as much. Um, she's going to need to do some physical therapy, but she. She got injured, you know, it hurt, she got hurt when they did it in the hospital. And so she's not looking forward to it. Okay. I wanted to leave this part white um, because I, I didn't want it to take away from this part of our card. I'm reading your comment, Lori. Yeah, it's gonna. I think it's just gonna take a while for um, the recovery, and you know that's it's hard to be patient, right? Okay, so I I talked about the matte dots, so I have one that's opened that I'm gonna use up some of these black dots, and we'll add a couple of these guys get to um, give a little. And we'll put one here. I'm trying, I'm trying, let's see. I think we'll put a bow right here. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. I have to tell you, there is glittered organdy black ribbon in the mini catalog. Oh, I'm so excited. You can take this ribbon and you can color it with your stamping blends, which is nice, but then I get my hands all inky when I do that. So I'm always excited to, I love this ribbon, but to have it in black will be really nice. Let's see what it looks like for the bow. I don't know if we are gonna like the bow. I appreciate the prayers. Um, we need all the prayers we can get. I would gladly take prayers because we know that they work. I don't know, you guys. I don't know that I like the bow. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what you think. Bow or no bow? I think it kind of doesn't go with the card. Yeah, I kind of don't think it goes with the card. I think we need to be without the bow. But you, you guys tell me what you think. 
And then while you guys tell me, I'm going to grab some Stampin' Blends. Let's see. Let us see. I don't know that I have Lost Lagoon. Do we have a Lost Lagoon blend? Uh, pool party. That's, uh, I think I have to take my sweater off. Now I'm getting hot. Um, that's not the right. I don't know that we have a uh, Lost Lagoon pen. I'm looking in my tub here to see if they're if it's in this tub. I don't I don't think there is a lost lagoon pen. What other color could we do? I guess any color, really, huh? Uh we could do because he's kind of orangey, our little fox. I could do some pumpkin pie flowers. What do you think? I could do, I don't know if I want to do blue. Tell me in the comments what you guys think. What about bubble bath? A little bit of pink, maybe some green. What about some granny apple? Um, I'm just going to take a couple colors. What do you guys think? Let's do. I'm just going to do a couple of these. I'm not going to do a lot of them. Just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. That's four. We'll do five. Okay. I think I'm going to need some more colors. Okay, there's a pink one. And this is a, that's bubble bath. This is Tahitian Tide. And let me grab another color. Um, 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 um. This is pumpkin pie. How about a yellow too? Let's do a yellow. And I'm trying to remember what are the yellows that are um, current yellows. <laughs> um, oh, let's do a blue. Let's do a blue. First one we... Or purple. We could do a purple. How about some orchid or. Why is it I always grab the um, the colors that are like retired colors? I need to pull out my retired colors. Okay. This is blueberry bushel. It's a darker blue. Ooh, this one's really close to my circle. Do it without getting it on the cardstock. Just dot it. There we go. And let's add some yellow centers. Or they could be white, whatever you want. And some pumpkin pie. about obviously do a few more but you guys get the idea right I'm not going to do them all but do a few so that you've got some color and it pops okay I would do maybe maybe five more but there's that card okay do a couple more so it looks more spread out, but you're going to get the idea. All right. There you go.
simple, very easy. The animals really, really make it fun. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and I'll color a few more flowers um, later. Let's do the next card. Okay, the next card might make your eyeballs hurt, we'll see. <laughs> I was looking at some of this black and white paper and I was like, you know, if you stare at it too long, you might get dizzy. <laughs> All right, so I took another basic card, um, card base, but I cut off two inches, um, kind of the same idea as this one where I cut off a little bit here. All right, but we're going to do a different direction. So this is my inside, and we're going to put this on the outside. So let's do that. Very easy cards, but they've got an element of fun to them. You know, a little bit different, not the um, ordinary, usual fold, but they're not a complicated fun fold either. But there's an element of, of something different to it. Okay. And then this one, I thought this little party dog was so stinking cute. Look at him. He's just blowing his little party horn and all the confetti. Isn't that adorable? So I did the same thing, but I used some of the bigger, um, bigger dies. Same idea as this one, but I went with some of the bigger one, the, a bigger die here. Okay. So we're going to adhere this. And we want to make sure he is centered. And then do it again. I wanted a little bit more color to show on this. All right, so that's going to be our focal point. And we're going to have this. We're going to put this paper on our inside. I'll move that over. Um, what die are the animals cut from? So this is the decorative circle punch. Decorative circle punch. And then we have the stylish shape dies that I pulled out. Okay. And you have five circles. I think I have one out somewhere on my table or something. You get circles, squares, and then flag pennants. There's 15 pieces in that set. Okay. Um, I did pull out some of my old circle punches and I'll show you because as I was punching the animals out, I just hate to throw away some of the ones that are a little bit s smaller, you know, I don't want to throw them out. So like this little guy, it's not the whole elephant, but I didn't want to waste him. So I used one of my smaller circle punches. It's retired to save him. Um, to use on another card, which I ended up doing with these pieces. So there's a rabbit and this armadillo, which we're going to use. Now this is going to be a birthday card. So we're going to stamp happy birthday. Yeah, I think I'm going to sit and just punch out all these little cute, adorable animals. So that I have them ready for cards. Okay. Now, if you haven't sprinkled this video, I would love for you to do that so that other people will find the video. Um, 
And if you haven't given it a thumbs up or a heart, I would really appreciate you doing that. So this was a scrap I had, and I thought, well, let's use up the scrap. And then we're going to use these smaller circles on the inside. What do you think about that? Isn't that adorable? So they don't get wasted. I like to use up as much as I can. I don't want to waste it. They're just so sweet. Sweet little critters. And you have enough that you can write a short little note. If you wanted to, you can write, you can put a white panel on the back of the card too and add more. Okay, now we're gonna put this kiddo here. But again, we don't want to get adhesive on the other half because we want to be able to open our card without it sticking. Okay, so I'm going to be careful and not get it over as close to the center like I did last time. All right. For some reason... Yeah, I did it again. It's like my, um, that works. I'm just going to move that over a little bit right there. Okay, so there's that. Now, I don't have a sentiment on here. I could put a bow. I think the bow works on this. Make it a little more um, festive with the glitter. And you know what would be really cute is if you had some glitter glue and you, um, we could put our Wink of Stella on this, but if you had glitter glue, you could add some glitter puffy paint on there too to make it sparkle. That would be cute. Let me get my Wink of Stella pen. And we'll add. We could add some rhinestones on there. We could do that. Well, let's do the little curly cue. Okay. And I think I'll add some little dots, give it some sparkle, and let me see if my rhinestones are close at hand, if not, oh well, right? Uh, I could use these guys. Don't work. These are uh, what are these? Adhesive backed pearls. We could put some of those on there. Little silver ones. That's cute. All right, can you guys see that? So cute. Very cute. And super easy. This is not a complicated card. All right, last one. This one is just a basic card base. Nothing special about it. All right, but let's 
use our bone folder, uh, yeah, our bone folder, and give that a good burnish. Okay. Now I did take some basic black and I ran it through an embossing folder just for a little bit of texture. I don't know if you can see that. Let me hold it up. There you go. You can use any embossing folder you've got on hand. There we go. I like the little extra touches that just make a card special, right? And it's not hard. It's not hard. Now we're going to use the polka dots. And we're going to have a little bit of black on both sides, okay? Oh, I think when I use my, my adhesive, I must lean on, I must lean a certain way because I'm constantly needing to fix that. Okay, a little bit on both sides. You can see the little bits of texture. I know most of it gets covered up, but you can still see it, and it's just a little extra, just a little extra something. Now this was a scrap, um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and use it, break up the, the polka dots a little bit, use up the scrap, put it in the middle. And then the same concept of using the stylish shape dies. What is on my paper here? That's weird. And then I used the decorative circle punch. And that's the little cute koala bear. Juggling cupcakes. How adorable is that? Don't they just make you happy? The only stamps I've used are the sentiments, which you could use any sentiment stamp set that you have and get away with just using the paper to decorate your cards. Now I was going to make a little, I wanna cut this, I'm gonna cut it because I don't need it that big, but we're gonna add a little sentiment on here and I'll trim it. Okay. All right. Let me cut that. I don't need all that paper. And then I'll just use my paper snips and give us a little end, which I should have done on the other side now that I'm thinking about it. So, let's see. Good, I didn't glue it down. We'll do it this way. <laughs> Perfect. And then we'll pop this up with some dimensions. Ta-da! So cute! All right, let's add a little bit of Wink of Stella on our cupcakes. You can make the frosting shimmer or you can make the cupcake liner shimmer. Totally up to you. Okay. 
Okay. Just gives it a little, little bit of uh, pixie dust. All right. I don't know that it needs a bow. I'll make a quick one. We could put one right here, but I don't know if it needs it. Let's see. right there. Yeah, maybe. But we don't want to cover up our writing, so we just have to be um, that loop a little smaller, I think. Okay, let's put a glue dot on there. All right. Cute. All right, we got to do the inside. Isn't that adorable? They're just so, so stinking cute. All right, what are we gonna put on the inside? We said, so we have to put happy birthday on the inside. And then I think we need a cutie pie on the inside. What if we did, I mean, I don't know if I want that big old, we could put this little elephant here holding a banner. That'd be cute. Where's my happy birthday? Oops. Alright. It's funny, I don't know why that one block got cloudy. I don't know if I dropped it on the floor or something. I have no idea why it got cloudy. So this is our last card, and like I said, the only stamps I used were my sentiments. So you could just buy the pack of paper and use any stamp set that you already have that has sentiments if you didn't want to buy the stamps. But they're so adorable, why wouldn't you want to buy the stamps, right? They're so cute, you know? But you don't have to. All of these cards were just using the, dis the uh, designer series paper. So cute. I love these cards, you guys. This was one that we did on another video. We did this guy. I don't know if you guys remember that. Another little fun fold. All right. But... These are adorable cards. So, so cute. Which one is your favorite? Tell me in the comments. Do you like the fox, the dog, or the koala bear? Which one is your favorite? Tell me in your comments. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and a heart, or a heart if you could sprinkle this. That would be lovely. Now, don't forget, it is the last week of July, which means it's the last chance to get bonus um, bonus days coupons. So right now Stampin' Up! is giving a bonus $5 coupon for every $50 you purchase. You spend $50, you get a $5 coupon that you get to spend in August. The coupons will expire at the end of August, so you need to use your coupons. But if you're going to be buying supplies anyway, you might as well get $5 in free product, right? So that's happening until the last day of July. 
And then starting August 1st, for the entire month of August, all of our kits in the online exclusives are going to be on sale, up to 30% off is what I'm hearing. Does not include Paper Pumpkin, but all of our um, kit collection will be on sale. Now our kits make amazing gifts. This would be a time to stock up for Christmas. If you have grandkids or if you have um, someone who is housebound, maybe a senior citizen in your family, um, some of the cards have no stamping involved at all and some of them do. So they're great for any level of crafter. They make amazing gifts. Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, Mother's Day gifts, thinking of you, get well gifts. So might as well get them while they are on sale. So that is happening in August. Um, if you're a demonstrator, you have already gotten to see the holiday mini catalog online. It is lovely. There are lots of fun things in the catalog. I can't wait to show you. Um, you will be able to pre-order August 2nd. So another perk of being a demonstrator. Um, you get to see things before every, anybody else does. You get to order things before anybody else does. So if you would like to have some of these perks like I do, then reach out to me and I can share with you how to get that done. I would love to add you to my team. All right, everyone. This is my host code for the last week of July. If you're going to place an order, please use the host code. I always appreciate your orders. They help keep me um, being able to bring you these fun videos and using Stampin' Up! products. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay cool, stay healthy, and I hope to see you real soon. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.